The more you work in 3D and the more crashes you will experience and the more data loss you will undergo. So crashes are never fun, but is there a way to set up Maya so that we minimize the risk of losing data? Yes, there is. Let's have a look at it. The very first thing you should do when you start working in Maya is to create a new project or set one if you already have it. To create a new project, you go File, Project Window. I will call this one Test. The location is right now unimportant. I click on Accept and if we go check the path of the project, we see that we have a bunch of folders with a file named workspace.mail. If you see workspace.mail, it means you're looking into a Maya project. Setting a Maya project before starting to work is a really handy and healthy procedure because it makes sure that all your data is managed in a single folder. When you will find yourself close to the deadline, having to render your project out, it would be rarely anything better than having everything in a single folder because it means that you can just drag the project folder, drop it onto any computer on any network, and you will be able to work with your scene or render it just as if you were working on your computer back home. But don't just take my word for it. Let's see what could go wrong if you don't work within a project. Let's say that I want to start the animation with a rig in this project. So I will go File, Create Reference, and I will talk about referencing a bit later, but for now just follow me. And I'm going to find a place where I have my dragon there. I click on Reference, and after a bit of waiting, I have the dragon in my scene. There you go, there's a little error there, we're going to ignore it. If I hit 6 on my keyboard, I can see the textures. Everything seems to work just fine. So I'm going to go File, Save Scene As, and this is going to be my first scene. I will call it Anim001, Begin. This is when I start animating, right? Let's say that I need to to render out this project on another machine or I have to pass this animation file to another person who needs to work with them in Maya. What I would normally do is go find the project itself. You see this project name test, that's the project, and I'm going to copy and paste it onto another computer. Let's see what happens. Here we are on another computer. You see I've copied the project onto the desktop of this other computer and I want to open it up. So I will just make sure in Maya that I set the project to begin with. So you see we are into the test project which is on my desktop and the workspace mail is there. I hit set and then I'm going to open my animation file. I expect everything to work. So I will just open the file, don't save the empty scene and we have a first problem there. See that? So first of all, Maya is complaining it cannot find the rig. It's, it's looking for the dragon rig but in the path that we have in here there is no dragon rig. And that's because we are now on another computer which doesn't have that path and it doesn't have that dragon. And if you think of it, I only move the project, not the dragon. All of a sudden now, I have to go and grab that dragon and manually move it to the new computer. Imagine I have a bunch of characters and I have to do this for every single character. Wouldn't it be easier if all the characters were contained in the project? And I think it would. Let's say I remember to move the dragon with me, so I'm going to put the dragon into the scenes folder there. I can tell Maya, please browse and please go find the dragon which we have in the scenes folder. I click on open and now I have the dragon in the scene. Please ignore this message. Now this is the dragon. If I hit six, I want to see the textures, but nothing shows up. That's because if you go check the material attributes of your dragon and go into the color, for instance, you will find that Maya is still pointing at the textures which were in the old project because the dragon was set to its own project. Now its textures will be searched for in the old project. So before you even start animating now, you find yourself having to relink a bunch of textures, which is not terribly complicated. You can do it with a script, of course, but we had to relink the rig. We had to relink the texture. I mean, in our purpose, was just to open the scene and maybe launch a render. So you see how keeping everything into a project folder to begin with makes life a lot easier. So let's see how much easier life gets when we set the project the right way. I've already set up a new project, which I'm going to set up in Maya. There you go. I hit set. In the scenes project folder, I have my dragon rig, a couple of animated scenes I prepared earlier on, and the source images folder, which contains all the textures. Now, when I open up an animated scene, the dragons open with the textures. Maya doesn't ask for any reference. Everything is automatically linked for me. So that means that I can start to work. So you see, just by setting the project right, keeping all the files under the same project folder, I can start working right after opening the files. Now, let's say I want to move this project to another computer. So right now I'm on another computer and you see I have my dragon project on the desktop. I want to go into Maya and set that project. Then I'm going to open the scene. Please notice we are on a different path on a different computer and the file opens up without any complaints. This means that it doesn't matter on which computer you open this project on, it's still going to work the same way on every computer. If you are going to work for a bigger company, you will find out that very often a pipeline software takes care of setting up the projects for you. It gives you a GUI from which you can select the scene you want to work on and you don't have to worry about anything. The problem is, before 
before getting to that big company you will have to work with other people if you are at school you will have to work with other people if you are at home you will have to work with what you have and if you set the project right then you won't lose your files and everything will always work if you work without setting up the project you will encounter a number of issues before you even start and animating in 3d will become a frustrating experience and we don't need that so before doing anything in Maya set the project now that we know how important it is to set the project and to use references in your scene I think it's a good idea to have a look at how we can spare ourselves some headaches by auto saving the file every now and then if we go under windows settings preferences preferences under settings files projects you will find the autosave window you want to enable it you probably want to limit the autosaves to a number like I don't know 20 for instance and maybe save every five minutes or every three minutes however frequent you want them to be now this is a very good insurance because you will have 20 possibilities to go back in time and if every possibility is stored every five minutes it means that you have some sort of time machine that can help you go back in time by a hundred minutes which is not bad at all however you can't rely on autosaves to to store the data for you. Every now and then autosaves skip a save and usually that's when I find out that I need an autosave. So it's a good insurance, you need to have it there, it will make your life easier but don't use it as your main saving avenue, that's not the way it works. Look at where autosaves are stored by default into the project. So everything starts and ends into the project folder. If I now go and have a look at the project folder, you will find an autosave folder in there and you see that Maya is autosaving stuff. So every five minutes, there is a file being stored for me. And notice, when I was autosaving the import workflow references and I kept it open only for 15 minutes more or less, I generated 342 megabytes without doing much if you think of it. But with the referenced workflow, I generated 31 megabytes, which is 10 times less. So again, the reference workflow wins over the import one. Another feature you may want to work with is the incremental save. If you go under file options of save scene you will find that there is an incremental save tick box which we are going to enable. We are going to limit the amount of incremental saves. 20 is fine. See what happens. Now I save my file. So this file is saved and I have six dragons in there. Let's say that I want to move this dragon up there on frame 120. So now this scene has been changed. If I hit Control S in the project folder a new folder named incremental folder has been created that contains a folder that is named like the file we're working on and that folder contains the file as it was before I moved the dragon as it was in the previous save so let's say that for whatever reason now I want to go back to how the file was with the dragon on the bottom left corner all I need to do is go back to open incremental save and grab the latest incremental save in there and as I do so you will find that the dragon is still on camera left this doesn't affect your original file if you go back to the main scenes folder this file we were working with will still contain the new dragon the new movement to camera right so these incremental saves are just backups which are stored every time you hit Control s but the actual file you're storing your new data to is still the same file so in short before starting to work on anything in maya create or set a project before starting animation reference your rig and in order to have a good insurance plan against data loss make sure you have set the autosave to on and maybe enable the incremental save option under the options of file save scene. If you have found this video useful please let me know by liking, subscribing and ringing the bell. And write something in the comment below. Bye, have fun!